Hey guys, Stair Dragon Gravity here, and today I have a duck profile with these awesome red sleeves. Um, now this deck ha I've been, has been testing nicely, sort of. I've been testing it for a while though. Um, took it to tournament once, and I like some parts of it, some parts I didn't, so I changed that, etc. Um, so. I've been saving up for this deck and saving pieces and this is my soul one of my soul clans, so today's deck profile is Da Da Emperor of Dragon Nation, Dragonic Overlord, the end. Now, uh this deck has been really fun. Um it's one of my favorite decks. And let's get into the profile. Um First of all, of course, I do run for Dragonic Overlord, the end. Um, he is 11k and he gains an extra 2k when Dragonic Overlord is in the soul. As well as when an attack hits on Vanguard, you can counter bust 2, ditch a copy of him, and restand him. That can be really useful. Uh, mainly play this deck because of its draw power because of that Persona Blast, and it could be really fun. So yeah, for Dragonic Overlord, the end. Now, my other growth threes is consisting of three Overlords, uh, one of each artwork, um, except the SP, this is Trial Duck, Trial Duck, Trabore. Um Three's been actually pretty nice, because I don't like running that many great threes, and I just think the cross ride is a bit too slow. Um, I would just rather probably go for him for the Persona Blast first off. But if you're like against Aqua Force, you will need that cro break right cross ride to be 13k. And so um, if I get it, it's fine. If I don't, it's pretty much fine. It, it works. So three Overlord. If I can, let's move these into camera. Okay, um, moving on, Great Twos. Play 11 Great Twos in the form of 4 Burning Horn Dragon. Uh, now this card gains 3k when it attacks if your Vanguard has Overlord in its name. So these are your 12k beaters to help you get those good columns. Uh, very good, and it has nice artwork. So definitely 4. Uh, next we play three 10k beaters. Um, I play these because being 10k is still really good on turn two, but only three because you do need your 12k beaters later. Uh, I like Crushrock Garp as my favorite Kagero 10k beater. Um, he just looks awesome. And he has this gun, dragon, skull gun thing. So he's cool. Um, yeah, he's still really good. Got to run sub 10k beaters. Um, for the rest of the great twos, I have two Berserk Dragon to clean up Counter Blast and to retire. Um, again, um, your opponent will value their attackers and boosters against your 13k Vanguard. So, again, Aqua Force. Um, they put that Basil, Basil behind in the back row. Snipe it out. Very good. So two Berserk Dragon. And then, because this deck is heavy counter blast, um, I run two Bellicosity Dragon. Um, this card I really like in this deck. Um, he, I usually end up riding him turn two. That sucks, because I want to run Garp. Red Garp, but... Yeah, he's okay. You do get his skill off once in a while. And that helps with your Overlord. Um... Though, I would end up probably having all my Overlord in my hand early game. That'd be bad. Um, so, 4 bar. Um, again, he's good. 20. 21, if you're cross-ridden. Um, I don't... I did use the trial deck artwork, but now I'm using the half deck artwork. Be just because it they printed it darker in the half deck. And it just, I think, looks it way cooler <laughs> that way. Make it look more evil. Um, 
because Kagero is evil um, for the most part because they are out to control your field. Um, so, four wave and guard brewery for added defense. So, all this stuff coming out in set nine. Uh, gotta be defensive, right? Um, three, Kimnara. Um, Kimnara's good. Um, again, trying to snipe out that back row. Because without boosters, it's going to be harder and harder for your opponent to hit your Dragonic Overlord at the end, cross -ridden. Um So, three is good. Can our boss one, soul charge it, and from rear guard, and they're grade one. So, as, as long as you're retiring a grade uh, 8k or a 10k booster, it's a. I, mean, I guess it's some advantage, but really, this card is just an eye for an eye. Because, again, you lose your booster. But. It's good with Burning Horn. Um, then, for more added pressure on their back row, we have Heat Nail. Uh, when he boosts and a successful attack on a Vanguard, boosting a Kagura, you can put it behind your Burning Horn or your Overlord. I wouldn't suggest putting this behind your Vanguard. I've had this stuck behind your Vanguard, and it's cost me games having it stuck behind the Vanguard, so be careful. Do not put this behind the Vanguard if you value <laughs> value your life on the planet Cray, but you don't need that much because it does reshuffle back into the deck um, so if it hits a vanguard Bustina Kagero retire that a grade one and it shuffles back into the deck at your end phase so nice um, and this deck does have a lot of draw power you can get stuff stuck in your hand so or if you need a search I run two heat nail ah uh, sorry not heat nail flame of hope airmo because um, if you're great stuck or you need a search for your overlords, you can put it behind your vanguard. Or if you don't, you can put bar behind your vanguard and just in case. Or if you end up need to, this still goes behind burning horn for 18. So two. Um, when I was running one and or one 10k baser, it seemed like I would always damage check it. <laughs> the one before if I didn't use Conroe on turn two. So um, that's why I run two now. <laughs> And it's been working nicely. Grade zeros. Now, my grade zeros are a bit weird, but I've been liking them. Um, of course, our starter, Lizard Soldier Conroe. Uh, Cannot boss one, retire this unit. Search your deck for a grade one or less. It's really nice. You need a bar, you search for it. You need it. Perfect guard, you search for it. You need a Kimnara, Heat Nail, Airmo, search for it. This is an amazing card and will probably always be the best starter for Kagura. God, I love Conroe. Okay. For going on to triggers, I run two of these critical triggers. Two of these critical triggers. Uh, crits are good because it helps you speed up the game. And your opponent, if your opponent doesn't think you can Persona Blast, they will most likely say no guard to save their hand for when you do. It's good to hit those criticals then, but you never know. And what I've been doing is doing three stand triggers. Um, stand triggers are good in this deck. If you get the Persona, it's really fun when you get the Persona Blast off and then stand your rear guard booster. It's really nice. And also, you have other stand targets to take out rear guards. So basically, you become Aqua Force with these because you can get five attacks off in a turn with a Persona Blast. So stand up this, it's hitting for 17. Stand up your. Garp hitting for 15, so you can hit rear guards or hit the vanguard again, just for more added pressure. It's really good. Uh, next, um, four draw tr for these draw triggers. Um, again, counter blast one, soul charge it, retire your opponent's starter. Uh, can be there, some decks starters are really key, like Kaigeros, Conra. If you're mirror matching, you might as well kill it. <laughs> If you're fighting against Narakami, kill their Lizard Soldier session before they kill your starter. Uh, yeah. And then, one of these. Just for... I have gotten this off. It's really amazing. Uh, when you do Persona Blast, and then get double draw trigger, you all instant have 12, like, 12 cards in your hand, or around there, and your opponent's like, I am not going to win this, ever. Uh, and then, of course, uh, for Dragon Monk Genjo, your heal trigger. Mm. 
why does this card look so weird? <laughs> Can't wait for the new one in BT11. Um, so I might make some more changes to the deck or require more testing, but uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, sub subscribe, like, comment for Psychoalia. Dum, dum, dum. Or be reversed. <laughs> uh, so this has been my Dragon Cove Load the End deck. Uh, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more Cardfight Vanguard. Detail? Stuff? No? Plenty of trying to build some BTO9 decks. And thanks for watching. Peace out.